Hi folks, today we're going to talk about the burner launchers. Uh, specifically, they launch projectiles that have OC or pepper or a combination of both OC and CS. Now before we get started, I need to mention that I am not an attorney and this is not legal advice. If you want legal advice, please see a licensed attorney in the state of New Jersey for New Jersey related issues. This is my opinion based on my experience as a trooper. I'm a retired New Jersey State Trooper. And prior to my retirement, I did work in the Firearms Investigation Unit. I was the uh, unit head. So I'm familiar with the firearms laws and statutes in New Jersey. But as we all know, it's a fluid situation with these uh, firearms laws and codes and rules. I'm trying to keep up like everybody else, but uh, today we're going to talk about the burner launchers because I've been asked multiple times, are these legal to carry in New Jersey? So I'm going to tell you what I think and I'm going to give you my recommendation at the end. So keep watching. On their website, Burna Technologies described the handheld device that I'm referring to as a highly effective, less lethal weapon. It launches projectiles of OC, pepper, and a blend of OC and CS. And when they hit their target, they explode and they, the chemical that's released from the projectile causes a reaction. Some police departments across the country have started to carry them. Although Burna Technologies claim that their launchers are legal in all 50 states, you need to be careful in the state of New Jersey. And I'm going to tell you why. If you read the definition of a firearm in New Jersey, it could fall under that definition. Now, if we look at paintball markers, for example, in New Jersey, they are not classified as firearms. And there's case law to establish that. And basically, they're not classified as firearms. That's why we call them paintball markers because of the size of the projectile. It's too large to be classified as a firearm under the definition. So if you want to assume that the burner launcher is similar to a paintball marker in New Jersey because of the size of the projectile, and I don't know the differences in size, but they're probably pretty similar, it still falls under the definition of a weapon in New Jersey. Anything can be a weapon in New Jersey, right? A paintball marker can be considered a weapon depending on how it's used. So if you use it to, to uh, have the simulated games, it's not a weapon. If you use it to rob a bank and you shoot someone in the eye on purpose, it's a weapon. So anything can be used as a weapon in New Jersey depending on how you use it. So even if we say the Berna launcher is not does not fall under the definition of a firearm, it does fall under the definition of a weapon in New Jersey. And if you read the statute, and I'm going to read the definition just so you have it. According to NJS 2C391R, this is the definition chapter. Weapon means anything readily capable of lethal use or inflicting serious bodily injury. The term includes, but is not limited to, key, key words there, all firearms, components, gravity knives, stun guns, or any other weapon or device which projects, release, releases, or emits tear gas, or any other substance intended to produce temporary physical discomfort or permanent injuries through being vaporized or otherwise dispensed in the air. So to me, that falls under the definition of a weapon. So assume that we don't think the burner launcher is a firearm. Can we carry it? That's the question here. So my question to you is, if we're, if we're classifying it as a weapon, which to me it falls under the definition of a weapon in New Jersey, how does New Jersey, how does the state of New Jersey feel about carrying weapons outside your home, not talking about in your home, we're talking about outside your home. How does the state of New Jersey feel about you carrying a weapon for self-defense other than a, a firearm if you have a permit to carry? Well, I'll tell you, they don't like it. The state of New Jersey does not like people carrying weapons for self-defense outside your home and there's case law uh on it as well and like it or not and i'm not a big fan of this and it doesn't make sense a lot of new jersey uh, laws especially firearms laws do not make sense this is one of them to me the only thing that i know of that you can carry outside your home for personal self-defense is pepper spray and you're limited to a 
small pocket sized container of no more than three quarters of an ounce of the chemical inside. So one time, so you can't even carry two according to statute. So you, you hopefully you get, there's one attacker and you, you use up your no more than three quarters of an ounce of pepper spray on that one attacker. There's more than one attacker. Legally, you, you can't carry more than three quarters of an ounce. So that's how the state of New Jersey feels about weapons and carrying weapons outside your home for self protection. Case law in New Jersey has said they made it clear that you cannot preemptively arm yourself outside your home for self-defense with a weapon. You cannot do that, according to the state of New Jersey. So inside your home, one thing. Outside your home, something completely different. The only thing that you can arm yourself with outside your home that I know of is pepper spray and you're limited to a pocket-sized container of no more than three quarters of an ounce of pepper spray. So whether we're talking about stun guns, tasers, a burner launcher, you cannot carry a weapon outside of your home for self-defense, according to the state of New Jersey. So for example, you have a baseball bat you carry in your car because you like to stop and play baseball every so often after work. You get into a confrontation, someone attacks you or wants to attack you, you grab your baseball bat and use it as self-defense because you're in fear for your safety, you're in fear for your life or serious bodily injury. So you use your baseball bat that you carry for baseball for self-defense. Is that allowed? Well, yes, uh, the courts have said yes. In that case, you'd be okay because you're carrying that baseball bat is intended for baseball and that's why you're carrying it. You're not carrying it for self-defense. You can use it for self-defense if you need to, but that's not the sole purpose of you carrying the baseball bat. Same with a mag flashlight. Now we know they're metal, aluminum, whatever they're made of. You hit someone with a mag flashlight, you can seriously injure them or even kill them. So if you're carrying a mag flashlight for illumination to see at night and then you get into a confrontation and you happen to have the mag flashlight available to defend yourself, that's okay according to the state of New Jersey. However, if you say, you know what, I'm, I carry three mag lights for self-defense, that's not allowed. So it's the intent. That's how the state of New Jersey looks at weapons, carrying weapons for self-defense. Just putting it out there. Don't agree with it, but I'm just putting it out there. So the burner launcher, on the other hand, its primary reason is self-defense. So you can't say, well, I'm carrying the launcher because I just like to target shoot, right? It's designed as a weapon, less lethal. That's how they describe it, but it is a weapon. So there's no other use for it, in my opinion. And if you read the definition on their website and the definition of the statue, there's no other reason for that device other than for self-defense. So that's how New Jersey is gonna see it. You're carrying a weapon for self-defense outside your home. So some might say, well, it launches pepper spray. You could get to the pepper projectiles and pepper spray is legal in New Jersey. Yes, it is legal. So on that argument, so my question to you is, again, it's limited to a pocket sized container, no more than three quarters of an ounce. How much, well, first of all, I guess you could argue that the launcher is pocket sized if it's small enough or if you have big enough pockets you could fit in your pocket, but it really is the size of a handgun. So to me, it's not pocket sized, but I guess you could argue that it is. So let's talk about the projectiles and the, and the pepper chemical that's inside each projectile. How much is in there? Is it more than three quarters of an ounce? I don't know exactly, but even if one projectile is less than three quarters of an ounce, how many are in the, in the device? Are there five? Are there six? Are there seven? I don't know exactly how many it holds, but you're, you're, you're carrying, I'm guessing, more than three quarters of an ounce of pepper spray in those projectiles. So New, the state of New Jersey is gonna say, all right, forget that argument of pepper spray because you're already over the three quarters of an ounce. Now, the other issue with the projectiles is the, the, the statute for pepper spray talks about it being vaporized, aerosoled into the air. So if I read this, and I'm going to read it so I don't miss any of the words, the statute does say that not more than three quarters of an ounce of chemical substance, not ordinarily capable of lethal use or inflicting serious bodily injury, but rather intended to produce temporary physical discomfort or disability through being vaporized or otherwise dispensed in the air. So that's the definition of pepper spray allowed for personal self-defense in New Jersey. So if you look at these projectiles, they're not, they're, they are projected through the air, but they're not 
vaporized in the air, right? That's not how they work. They don't work until they hit their target and explode, and then the chemical is released. So it's technically not being vaporized in the air. So there goes that argument. It's, well, I'm carrying pepper spray. It's a burner launcher, but it's pepper spray. The other issue with carrying a burner launcher, in my opinion, is that they look like real guns. So they, I know they make like a bright orange one, they make black ones, they look real. So if you think you're doing the right thing and you carry this device and you pull it out, shoot a would-be attacker saying, you know what, I'm doing the right thing, I'm, I'm, it's less lethal force, right? And then they actually have a real firearm and think that you're shooting them with a real firearm or about to shoot them with a real firearm, they're going to shoot you most likely. So to me, you're going to create a danger, possibly a dangerous situation that you put yourself in where you're, you're not bringing a real gun to a gunfight. And to me, that's not a great idea. So my recommendation is that if you want one of these burner launchers and they, they look they look pretty cool, right? As a non-lethal or less lethal force device, I would recommend you keep it in your home for home defense. That's what I would recommend. If you live in the state of New Jersey, I would not recommend carrying one of these things for those reasons. I think it's classified as a weapon and the state of New Jersey does not like people carrying weapons for self-defense other than the pepper spray and again, limited to three quarters of an ounce pocket size container. So classified as a weapon in New Jersey and also it looks like a weapon. It looks like a handgun to me and I think you could someone will mistake that for a firearm and they could shoot you. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, folks. You should be able to, in my opinion, carry some type of non-lethal weapon for self-defense in the state of New Jersey, but they just, according to case law and statute, they don't allow it. And if you're carrying something that is clearly designed to be a weapon, you will, according to the state of New Jersey, you will be in the wrong, as crazy as that sounds if you have to use it. So again, you're carrying something for an, an, in, an intended for some other purpose, like a baseball bat for baseball or a flashlight to illuminate a dark area. And you happen to need that in a self-defense situation. They look at that differently. So just keep that in mind, folks. I would not recommend carrying the launcher outside your home. Fine for home protection in New Jersey. I would not recommend carrying it outside your home. Now, we didn't even cover the fact that if it is classified as a firearm, then that brings up a whole nother issue of you need a permit to carry it and how would you qualify with it? Would you have to bring this to the range and qualify with it? Brings up a whole nother set of issues, but we'll just assume that it's not classified as a firearm. But again, in my opinion, it is classified as a weapon. So in the state of New Jersey does not like people carrying weapons for self-defense. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe.